Assalamu alaikum, peace be upon you, hello. So you would think the hardest thing of being a practicing Muslim, at least, at least for me, would probably be the hijab, right? Or the niqab, and, or finding a halal place, or finding a place to pray in the middle of a class, or in the middle of, of working. I'm here to tell you, <laughs> none of those were was as hard as what I'm about to tell you now. The hardest thing for me as a practicing Muslim is having to deal with the opposite gender and you know having to reject their handshake okay there were so many cringe moments and there's times that I even came in and I shook the hands of the opposite gender I did not feel good about it trust me it's a it was the hardest thing for me because every time I try to explain it's still they still feel rejected they still feel confused they still feel you know hurt I could see the hurt and the disappointment and the and I'm like and I'm the type of person that really care about the feelings of other people and I want to be understood and I'm not trying to hurt right the, the other person so I just I struggle with that every single time I struggle with it and I mean there were many times that I did not shake the hands of the opposite gender but there was this you know moments where I'm caught off guard and I'm like, everybody's staring at me and they're like, hi, how are you? My name is so-and-so and and I'm like, uh, yes, how are you? You know, and I'm like, how do I, how do I respond? How do I, and, and, and I'm hoping that they would take their hand back and, you know, but it's like, it's still like this, hi, yes. And they're like looking at my hand, they're looking at, they're just so confused looking around and I'm like, oh my goodness, fine. You know, so it's, I eat myself up for doing that at times um, in the past, in the past. I don't do that anymore, but in the past, it was just the hardest thing for me and it kept me up at night, you guys, because they're happy, but then I'm not happy, right? And moments when I'm very firm and I'm like, I'm so sorry, I'm not supposed to shake your hands. Uh, my religion, you know, doesn't allow me to shake your hands out of respect to you. And it, they just, they're just so confused and they're like, uh what or oh, okay yeah but you can see the hurt and you can see the disappointment you can feel, you can see the rejection and if there's i just i just struggled i just could not win if you are watching and you're a non-muslim how would like how do you want me to you know um respond what is the appropriate way that you that would that you would feel it's acceptable that you would understand um because a lot of the times it was just they just didn't get it they just felt like I was being disrespectful and um, yeah it's really really hard and if you're a Muslim <laughs> how did you how did you handle this do you have any tips for me I know that if I were to go back to work or if I were to go back to school this is still going to be a problem for me so I would appreciate if you share with us some tips and tricks that would make the situation a little bit more comfortable or less cringy so i hope you find this video helpful and please help me back by commenting in the comment section letting me know some of the great tips you have and i'll see you guys next time assalamu alaikum take care